How you doing folks? This is Camillo at Wasted Tuition. Uh, obviously the Ray Rice situation has been all the outrage in the media lately and everybody's talking about it. I've been in quite a few long conversations about it. Messages back on Facebook, back and forth on Facebook. I did see one particular video and this is a guy that gets a little bit of shine out there. I guess people are watching his videos or whatnot. It was my first time encountering, encountering one of his videos. I'm going to go ahead and link the video right here. If not, there will also be a link in my description. A friend of mine pointed me out, pointed the video out to me and I saw it and Mr. Sotomayor, this video goes out to you. I've got a few issues with some of the things you're saying in your video and I'm going to go through those now with you. First of all, the little clip with the that's what you get, that's what you get, that's what you get. I don't know if you've ever seen any domestic violence or any abuse in your life. I have. My mother was abused by my father. I saw it with my own eyes. A good friend of mine was shot and killed by a jealous ex-boyfriend because she was with another man in front of my eyes. So I've been a witness to domestic violence. And let me tell you, that's what you get. That's bullshit, dude. And that's the same type of sexist argument that people say about rape. What did you expect was going to happen? Oh, well, she shouldn't have been wearing that. Oh, well, she was drunk at a bar. Oh, well, she's a slut. Well, well, she got nasty, she got loud, so she deserved to get slapped. Whatever the reasoning is, if you're a grown-ass man, never mind a big muscular athlete, there's plenty of things you can do besides punching a woman in the face or choking her out or doing anything like that. I mean, you can hold her, you can bear hug her, you can grab her wrists, you can do all of these things without having to crack her in her jaw. You claim that she wasn't punched, that she was snuffed or mushed is the word that you say. Now, I don't know how, I've seen the video quite a few times, more than I would like to, to be honest with you. And I don't know how you can claim that because you must have some 4K uh, computer monitor because you can't see that detail in the video I've seen. And I've seen it frame by frame in the slow motion and I watched it again in your video. So I don't know where you claim that. Regardless, doesn't make it okay, but let's forget that argument because it's stupid. Another thing, what does this have to do with Ferguson? I don't understand why the reference keeps coming up. I don't understand. And, and honestly, the only thing that can come to my mind is the race issue trying to be played into this. That's some other bullshit because the race issue, this has nothing to do with race. Like absolutely nothing to do with race. I'm a Hispanic man. I'm not black, but I'm brown or, or not white, whatever the term you want to use. So I've been a victim of some racial injustice myself, but this has nothing to do with race. This has to do with a man beating on a woman he loves, supposedly. Do you think that had this been Peyton Manning or Aaron Rodgers or anybody, do you think it would not be getting as much press? You think it's, it's made more of an issue because he's black? That's just stupid too. Whether or not his girlfriend, now wife, is the one that started the argument, who knows? Because we don't see what the argument is about. We see them walking down the hall. We see her swing at him in some way, like she was trying to slap him or backhand him or whatever. She walks away. He follows her into the elevator. Now, what we see now, as opposed to your idea that he seems to run to the other side of the elevator, the whole two feet away from her, to get away from her. Sorry, my man, I don't know what video you're watching, but you're wrong again. What happens is they walk into the elevator and he gets up over her. Like you literally see him up over, towering over her. And you can see her leaning against the wall, cowering in fear like this. That's what happens. That is a woman who's been abused. And that is a man who's not new to intimidation. He is intimidating that woman. He is getting up in her face and threatening her. We don't know what he's saying. Then he goes and he slaps her or he smacks her or he swings at her. You can't really tell, but he definitely does something to her. He swings his hand at her. This is obviously a bad relationship. I mean, they're both physical, physically aggressive to each other. So this is obviously a bad relationship and we can see that. It doesn't mean that it makes it okay. And it doesn't mean that because they're together, it's okay and we should forget about it. Because that's nonsense. But she comes at him. What does he do? 
He cold cocks her right in the jaw. He didn't snuff her. He didn't mush her. He didn't do any. He clocked her right in her face like a man. So you want to say this is about equality. And you want to say, well, women want to be equal. That's not what we're talking about. Now, I saw your video, and you seem like a fairly intelligent guy. So I'm going to, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt, and I'm going to assume that you're choosing to misrepresent the equality issue because the equality issue is never about physicality. It's never about should a woman be able to fight like a man or fight with a man. And you know that as well. I'm guessing you do. I'm going to assume you do. It's about other things. It's about politics. It's about career issues. It's about uh, advancement in your career and your life that's being held down because you're a woman. It's about equal pay for equal work. It's about wages. It's, it's about a lot of things, but it's never about being equal physically to a man which is why women don't play basketball with men or soccer or tennis or any other sports because we are physically different and as a man you know that we are bigger we are stronger and we can do more damage in a fight which is why if I don't know where you grow up but you're I was taught you don't hit a woman regardless of what happens do women have the right to come after a man and go swinging and go of course not nobody has the right to hit anybody it doesn't make it okay but because you are a more powerful human being because you are physically stronger and more able to defend yourself you should have self-control because that's what being a grown man is having self-control and not swinging and not punching a woman in your face Never mind a random woman. We're talking about your wife or your fiance or your girlfriend or your sister or your mother or your aunt or your daughter. You don't go punching women in the face. The fact that she married him really has nothing to do with this either. There's plenty of stupid people in the world and she apparently is one of them. My mother was abused by my father and she left him. That's the right decision to make. Because she's married him, there could be plenty of reasons why she married him. Of course, I'm assuming she loves him. Who knows? Maybe she likes the money. Women who are abused by the men they love are often mentally ill, emotionally ill. They are often, as a product of their abuse, their self-esteem has, has been knocked down to the point where they might actually believe he hits me because he loves me. Only because he loves me, that's why he gets so angry at the things I do. That's a way of showing love. They were brought up that way. In their own homes, in their own families, they saw physical abuse as a form of love. If you love people, you abuse them and you hit them. Who knows what the reasons are, but they're not right. So because she married him doesn't make the situation okay and it doesn't mean we should all just forget about it and walk away from it. Also, this business of how long it's gonna be before men get tired and before this turns into Afghanistan and Iraq. Dude, I don't know. I don't want to touch on your issues with women, but it seems like you have some. What are you trying to say? Women should just know their role, stay in their lane, Women should pipe down before something bad happens. I don't know, brother, but it sounds like you have some issues with women. So I saw your video and I thought I had some things I wanted to say to you because not for nothing, my man, but you got it wrong this time. I'm going to watch some of your other videos and see what else you think. But this time I happen to disagree with you. And that's my opinion. Thanks for watching. My name's Camillo. This is Wasted Tuition. Hey, Tino, you got to tell those people to hit the subscribe button. My man. Or else you don't eat. Hit the subscribe button, people. Don't you have a heart? Please, save this guy. I know. I love you too. Okay, huh? Yeah, it's great. Where are you going?